Oh my god, is it a movie? Is it a... is it a... Is it a... is it a book? Uh, no. Uh, oh, it's a movie, isn't it? Um... Uh, no, it's a song. I spin you right round, baby, right round. Um... Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Alex Fu. And we're trying to figure out this ray that get. Okay, um, it has to do something with electrons, uh, orbits, uh... Is it Chain Reaction with Keanu Reeves and Morgan Freeman? Oh man, that movie sucked. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, now we're just telling the town like what happened up at the Soul Sanctum. Anyway. We had no idea. The true sanctum. And Jenna and Creighton, they're prisoners? Well, yeah. They've been taken against their will. How awful. Do you think they can be saved? <laughs> Do you think they can be shaved? <laughs> uh, maybe Creighton, but I don't know think anything about Jenna being shaved. Jenna's brother Felix will protect them, won't he? Yeah, of course he will. What is it, Great Healer? You've been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. I don't have I don't have anything for that. That one hovering stone, the one that appeared before Isaac. Yes, what about it? I have seen it before in my dreams. Why am I turning into a dwarf? I have seen it before in my dreams, Captain. <laughs> in my mind's eye, I, it just it appeared again just now and spoke to me. <laughs> you saw it just now. It must be the wise one, Captain, guardian of the elemental stars. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm gonna stop that. He's not nearly ridgy enough. Rigid. He doesn't nearly have enough ridges to be war. It told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. So, what does the Wise One say about the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? Unfortunately, yes. You all better start running now. <laughs> it is impossible to stop the eruption now. Oh god, no, we're all doomed. Will Vale be... Yeah, come on, tell us. Oh no, it's... Oh, Vale will be safe. Oh, thank god. The Wise One will prevent the lava from reaching us. The rest of the world, however, will burn. Yay! <laughs> dot, dot, dot. What's the matter, Great Healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? Something even more dreadful than Val's destruction looms ahead. What could be worse than destruction of Vale? Come on! <laughs> A terrible power! Ah, ah. The elemental star gems house incredible power! Like, more than a coal stove? And Vale has been guarding those gems! More than a train engine. The elemental lighthouses will loose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will burn. Like I said before. The wise one wants us to get the back the gems, don't doesn't he? No, of course not. He wants these two young little boys to do it. The world is ours to save or to destroy. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. Huh, you're pretty liberal for a priest, jeez. What a pity. Ah well, we tried our best. <laughs> we cannot hope for salvation. We must save our we must shave ourselves. Well, then what can we do? Okay, well, what, what, are you, what are you getting at? Acquiring the elemental stars is their fate alone. Oh god, no. I don't think I can- I don't think I can carry the burden of the whole world on my shoulders. Are you suggesting we place the fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Oh my god, 
Garrett can't even, like, stand on a roof without falling into it. Isaac can't even get a guy with Synergy to save his, his dad. <laughs> Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. Never be your beast burden. A wise one has spoken. Each of you shares responsibility for this. Now each of you has to make your own decision. <laughs> I don't know what to do, Isaac. You decide. <laughs> I've never been allowed to make decisions on my own. Now that I am able to, uh, I'm just lost. Isaac, will you accept responsibility for the fate of land? I guess so. I mean, it's bound to happen anyway. I am the main character. Jeez. You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. I thought you'd say no. That means I didn't have to say no, and nobody would, like, get mad at me if the world was destroyed. You chose to leave your decision to Isaac. There will be f no further discussion. Now, we may be an easy-going layabout town in the middle of a valley that houses magic secrets, but once you make a decision, that's it. <laughs> oh, wise one, these, th these two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command. Hi, guys! I, I mean... <clears throat> <clears throat> you two are quite brave to take on this quest. I mean, I would never take... I mean, uh, I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. Yeah, I'll watch you... Through the crack in my ass, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wise one. What did the wise one say? Felix must unlock the power. The power? The power of voodoo? <laughs> Find the lighthouses. You'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Dot, dot. Um, then what? Uh, don't look at me. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I was told. What should they do there? I, I don't, I don't know. You, you'll figure it out. Surely that cannot be all the advice you can offer them, great healer. I'm just a healer. I'm not a real person. Seek the elementals, the djinn. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, do that. They will prove useful. Maybe they'll have an idea of what you can do. I, I certainly don't. I'm just a tottering old man who's doing what he's told. Isn't there anything else? Uh, uh, no, that is all. No, no, be gone with you. Jeez, get out of here. <laughs> That's it? Isn't there anything else you can tell them? Uh, yes. Uh, Garrett, you're going to die alone and in your in your early 30s, uh, drinking in a bar. Uh, Isaac? You're going to have 50 billion gallons of children because you just can't hold it in your pants. That is all, Mayor. <laughs> I leave it up to you, Isaac Garrett. <laughs> 50 billion gallons of children. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hey, hey. Isn't it almost time to meditate? Yeah, I think so. Let me get my shotgun and we'll go meditate. I don't know. Oh yeah, meditation, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They've got the, like, most weird neckbeards, too. Well, what good are those guys? <laughs> Religious folks. Sending children off with no help or direction. <laughs> Religion! I agree, but... They didn't give us any other choice. Oh god, come on, Mom. There, there's always a choice. You take the red pill or the blue pill. Then when should they go? Ah, uh, it doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. What? What? I can't at least, like, you know, take a break. I just got out of a... a, a of a... Tomorrow then? Tomorrow? Well, at least I get to sleep, but come on, I can't I can't just take a breather for a little while. Tomorrow? Yes. 
That sounds like a capital idea. We're not going to ask the children when they want to leave. We're just going to decide it for them. Oh. Why is everyone hanging around the town gate? What? Didn't you hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey. And we're providing exposition for the audience. I wish I could go so that I could die in the wilderness alone and just crying for my mommy because I'm a child. I, I heard it's going to be really dangerous. Oh yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye. Oh, look at Doggy! Okay, let's just go run off and forget about all this heavy exposition stuff that we were trying to tell people. Or not. Question mark face? <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Weird. Isaac's mother isn't off to see him. I mean, isn't here to see him off. You're right. She's not there. Ah, oh, doggy and kitty. <laughs> hey, should we go say goodbye to you? Sure, let's go. La 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 la. Oh. Just that far. <laughs> we are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and I guess you too, Garrett. But you're not really important. Blonde, er... Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you, too. I don't know why I'm giving this to you. Oh man, Isaac got an herb. Oh man, we're gonna get so high in the wilderness. <laughs> I know not to drink stagnant water, sis. Well... That's why I'm telling you, because you might not know what the best thing to do is when you're smoking that herb, Garrett. Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. That includes you, you little shit. Rah, 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 rah. Hmm. Door is very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give this to you, Isaac. She thought, since I'm a little kid, you won't take out your anger on me because she didn't come up, to, come to show you, see you off to, you know, on what might be the last occasion she ever gets to see you. <laughs> anyway, we got the catch beads. These are gonna not really be that handy. You you use them to catch nuts off of trees, and so you can use them as health items. They're not that great. I guess we're all set to go, huh, Isaac? Think again, Garrett. It must be very difficult for Dora. <laughs> As Garrett's mother, I know how Madora must be feeling. <laughs> oh no, oh, if you, I've got an even better... Howard! As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's father, while Dora has only Isaac. She doesn't want you to go, Isaac. She wants you to stay at home forever, maybe bring home a nice girl. But she knows you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. You can't keep standing around here like this, or they'll never leave. That's the point, jackass. Maybe we don't want him to leave, because then Dora's heart won't be broken. So one final farewell. Alright, let's see if I can do it. Farewell! 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 Fare you well! Farewell! What was that? <laughs> oh, whatever. Farewell! <laughs> I'm not gonna layer them all, I'm too lazy to do that. Oh god. Alright, so, um, you're gonna see that, look at how this is all shaking around all, all over the world map and everything. Well, I've got a way to fix it, which I'm gonna show you right now. Ha! Huh. Options. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm gonna keep filming it just in case. Smart motion blending. Look at that, it's not shaking around and making me all motion sick and everything. I mean, a little when it's moving, but whatever. Alright, so... You know, I'm going to end it here. I will see you guys next time. 
Actually, wait. No, before we leave. See, I don't want to have it in here, though. Because it makes everything look a little off. Actually, it might not look that bad in the video. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll see how it looks in the video. And then change it back if it doesn't work, look good. Um, anyway, before we leave, I'm actually going to buy a couple things. Because we have a couple coins... Yeah, we got 371. I want to buy a couple of long swords just to up their attack. Um, because this will just make um, the next few moments a little bit easier. Oh yeah, so every few times you buy something, you're going to get a game ticket. This will become very handy later on in the game, so we're just going to give every single get game ticket we end up getting to Garrett so that we have them all in one place later on. Um, I want to up Garrett's attack and you'll see why. Alright, we're going to give you a leather cap, yes. Uh, I'm much wor more worried about keeping Garrett's defense high right now than I am about Isaac's because Isaac's is going to be all set in a second. But... Hmm. Let's see if we have enough. Yes, okay, we, we do have enough. So we can get a travel vest for both of them. That works out perfectly. Alright, so... Wait, sorry, I didn't... I meant to sell his cotton shirt. Whatever. Um... Could sell a smoke bomb, too. But we're not. Alright, so... Let's see, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with MioXFu, and we will venture out into the wide world of... I don't remember what the continent's called, but we will venture out, and we will check out what that glowing sparky thing could be. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with MioXFu. Take it easy.